Sunday morning, dozens gathered at Berkowitz Kuhlman Bookat's Memorial Chapel in Cleveland Heights to remember Baruch Taub. Taub and Ben Shafetz were killed in a crash Thursday evening when their plane went down in Westchester County, New York. They were returning to Cleveland after attending a funeral when they crashed. Air traffic audio describes the final moments before their plane went down. We're not getting the performance we're expecting, and I'm not certain why. The Westchester County Airport's right off your right wing if you want to land and check it out. Are you declaring an emergency? Not at this time. But when you can, make a right turn heading 340. Looks like I see you doing it now. I am declaring an emergency. Our oil pressure is dropping. Do you have engine power right now? Are you able to maintain altitude? No, the engine is overriding right now. Mayday, 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 mayday. Authorities say the single-engine plane crashed less than a mile from the airstrip. It took search and rescue teams five hours to track the plane down in the thick woods. Sunday morning, family and friends said Tob will be remembered as a family man who was committed to his community, strong in his Jewish faith. Baruch was a, was a friend of mine as well, not only being a schwager. He was always, always mechazik me. Every time he saw me, he said, I heard someone say, a word from you, you're learning. And it's so, it's so gewaldic. He was always mechazik me. Baruch worked long hours. He got up way before I got up. He went to bed way after I went to bed. He went to a night seder. He learned. So he's come out there working for his mishpacha. Working for the community. The FAA is investigating what caused the tragic accident as his loved ones lay him to rest. Reporting in Cleveland, CN New Yorker, 19 News.